whether it was Jennifer Lawrence's dramatic Dior. It's very light. It's 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 very functional. Or Amy Adams' pale gray Oscar de la Renta, which seemed to go on for days. Do you feel comfortable? Can you move? Yeah, it's it's a little big, but it's very comfortable. Yeah. Muted shades were all the rage on last night's red carpet. Anne Hathaway rocked this pale pink Prada that she called business in the front and party in the back. I'm 30 and I feel 30 in this, and I feel and I think that's a really positive thing. While Jessica Chastain turned heads in this bronze tone Armani. Privé. Metallics and beating were also out in force on stars like Halle Berry and Naomi Watts. I just like that this had a modern edge, but also a little bit of the, it feels deco at the same time. And then there were those who opted for a pop of color, like Reese Witherspoon in this cobalt blue and black Louis Vuitton. Do you enjoy the process of choosing the dress? Well, you know, Laura, it's really hard. It's hard when, you know, you, no, it's actually wonderful that you get this opportunity. And I love to play dress up and get to look at all the gowns. It's so fun. Jennifer Aniston's striking a pose in this red Valentino. Do you feel like a princess? In this thing, I do. I feel like this is like very uh, king and I. And one of my favorites, Kerry Washington, said yes, yes to this Mew Mew gown. I Mew New right away. I Mew New. And one nominee made a surprise Oscar fashion first. It's made by H&M. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. While some of Hollywood's hottest couples let us in on their red carpet secrets. When Tom Ford offers to dress you, you just say yes, please. Yeah, same. He, I think he's the... Tom Ford squared. This is it. It's Nain Khan and Lorraine Schwartz. <laughs> and George hopped, I, I'm I, sure. I, I sewed most of the sequins on myself. <laughs>